looks change my mind like that Please don't take this personal But you ain't What's good gang? Y'all already know what it is And y'all already know what he do Or maybe you don't But you about to find out it's your girl Ray back with a reading for you guys today and today I am working on the Scorpios hey y'all how y'all doing how y'all feeling how y'all living poo <laughs> alright y'all so if you new thank you for coming through and if you old thank you for coming back it's nothing but love over here gang so let's go ahead and get into this reading first I'm going to pull the main idea with the Moonology Oracle deck second I'm going to read the spread with the tarot deck and third I'm going to get some um some advice and some uh uh confirmations and then last, I'm going to use the uh, African Goddess Rising Oracle for advice and uh, clara clarity, clarification. Okay. All right. So let's get into the reading. I'm going to sit this over here to the side until I get ready and use it. And then I'm going to sit this here. So I've already shuffled and meditated over the card. So Spirit, I ask that you give me one card for the, for the Scorpios today. Spirit, I ask that you give me one card for the Scorpios today. Prosperity lies ahead. Yes, new moon in Taurus, y'all. New moon in Taurus. Let's read what the book said. Then, uh, the Okay, so it says this card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. This card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. Um, this comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy to know Oh, so now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or a sexier time. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon and sturdy 12th is, is a sign not to give up just yet. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, mind, and soul. You will soon be able to afford the things you're dreaming of. Get clear on what you value most will help you find peace take time out to pamper yourself start at standing start a standing order to a savings account no matter how small yes yeah, so you need to be saving money you need to be pouring into yourself you need to be um fulfilling your self-care keeping your mind body and soul healthy and yeah that's what basically you need to do balance your Balance your mind, body, and soul, and everything else will just flow to you easily. You hear me? Money, cars, clothes, uh, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading, guys. I'm so excited. I didn't do you guys a uh, reading for like a week, I think, or two weeks, maybe. Just just because the Earth signs took a lot out of me, y'all. They readings were so long, baby. Ooh wee. It was a lot going on, and that full moon had just passed too, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. All right, spirit, I ask that you give me some cards for the Scorpios. What is the Scorpios needing to know for their upcoming future? What are okay? Eight of Pentacles, aspirations. Um, got the Eight of Pentacles on deck. It's, it's like you're perfecting your craft. You're developing um, something you can create so that you can um, maintain stability. Yeah. Let's get a let's go. You might be into arts and craft. You might be creating something with your hands. You could be like a um, crocheter. You could be... Um, um, yeah, somebody who does something with their hands. It could be anything, to be honest. 
Okay, so we got the Five of Pentacles. Uh, it's like, yeah, because you're really struggling right now. You're probably struggling to uh, maintain this business that you're trying to create or trying to uh, make a financial stability with. You know how like you start a business and sometimes, I mean, we don't have enough money to start a business, but we put into it anyways because we believe that it will grow. So that's probably what you're experiencing. Like, it's like, yo, I didn't put, I'm putting all my money into something. I'm putting all my money into craft. I'm trying to perfect it. I'm trying to get it just right. But it's like, you have to spend more money first in order to reap the benefits, in order to uh, gain a profit from it, you know? Um, I feel like as a new business owner, uh, we tend to waste a lot of money within our first two years of business just because we, you know, you're just getting it up and running. You're getting everything that you need. Um, you're practicing, trying to make it, you know, just right, trying to make it quality products, trying to make it good enough so that it could continue to sell, you know, because no, nobody want to just sell at one time and one and done, you know what I'm saying? We want to make it continue to go, you know? So that's probably what you're trying to do, Scorpio. Trying to create that stability for yourself. Whether it's a business or a career opportunity. You could be going to school. You could be, um, what else are the Scorpios needing to know, Spirit? What else are the Scorpios needing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, but you're getting an offer coming in. Um, you're going to have a fresh start. Um, like you said in the beginning, prosperity lies ahead of you. And that is what's coming in. You're going to get that that pinnacle. You're going to be able to um, have that security, that financial security. You're going to be able to achieve the goals that you set forth for yourself. You're going to be able to be successful and start fresh, you know. Um, the world fulfillment. You're gonna, <laughs> you finna be fulfilled. You know, um, you're gonna be able to celebrate with everybody around you, whoever supporting and uplifted and believed in you as well. You're gonna be able to travel the world, enjoying a new chapter in your life. Um, but it was like you, you need to save money. You need to make sure that you're saving money. I think I said that earlier too. You need to make sure that you're saving money, not being too materialistic, because a lot of things that be, we be wanting, we don't be needing. Um, and don't be too quick to make to take action. Make sure that you stop and you think about what decisions you're making, what actions you're taking. Is this a good decision? Is the consequences going to be great? You know, you don't want to move too quickly and make a stupid decision or thoughtless decision and get yourself into something that you can't get yourself out of, you know? What about the Ace of Pentacles spirit? Seven of Pentacles. So you, you're investing in yourself, like I said. You're investing in yourself. Um, you're planning um you might be working really hard putting in that work you know you might be really really you know could be going to school a lot you could be learning a lot of things you could be online putting yourself out there each and every day you know sharing your business sharing what you do um promoting yourself because that's what you need to do you know if you ain't got no marketing team or you ain't you know able to afford that you got to promote yourself you get what i'm saying so if you're a business and um you have things that you want to sell but you're having a hard time selling them you need to probably be promoting it a little bit more for yourself like you need to be using your products you need to be showing your products you need to be wearing those clothes you're selling you need to be you know having that in oh you hear me so that's something you need to be doing too because say for instance like people like oh how is this how is that you know asking you about your own products but you're not using them like say for instance you went to work one day and you make juices right you a juice maker and you drinking a whole soda when you could be drink drinking some juices that you created so when you drink your own stuff people around you are going to ask about what's that how you get that who did that you know you're going to be like oh i made that this is me 
I created this. This is my business. They're going to be like, oh, for real? I want some. Or I want to wear that. Or make me it. You get what I'm saying? That's literally um, the best way to support your own business, to um, promote your own business. You may be into it with... Um, uh, people around you due to them knowing that you have the capability of um, growing and moving forward and getting ahead in life you know um, it could be some competitions for a promotion depending on if you um having a career or not you know you could be getting a new job or you could be um, wanting to level up in your business or your company and it's some competition. But uh you got it in the bag. Let's see what else a Scorpio needs to know, spirit. What else does a Scorpio need to know? Ooh. Okay, fly away, huh? <laughs> yes, prosperity, harvest, success, the four of wands is coming. It's 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 time to settle down. It's time to get it cracking like it, okay? Just make sure that um, you you could be at a standstill right now. Uh, you be you could be feeling like you're burned out. You could be feeling really tired. You could be feeling like, oh my gosh, like when is it, when is uh, it gonna get here? You know, when is this prosperity gonna get here? Cause I need it to keep going. <laughs> I need it to invest back into myself. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get to a point where like, hold on, I I just spent all my money on this business. And it ain't really no money coming in. I'm putting more into it than I'm getting out of it. You know, but it be like that sometimes when you first start. You get me? It be like that. You got to work, 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 work until it start busting, busting, busting. <laughs> no, seriously. All right, spirit. What else does the uh, Scorpios need to know? What else does the Scorpios need to know? What is the Ace of Pentacles for the Scorpios? Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Yes, you're very optimistic. You're you have the right mindset. You just need to make sure that you continue to stay confident in yourself. Um, continue to stay um, authentically you. You know, be you. Um, people love real. Well, people can tell the difference between real and fake. You know, and when you present a persona to people and then you try to like say for instance be yourself then that's when people gonna be like wait what that wasn't the real you that wasn't you know started questioning you uh with who you are so don't don't be afraid of being um this down to earth optimistic person with a high confidence what else are the scorpio need to know ooh, ooh. um so make sure that you're not um, neglecting yourself. Make sure that you are also pouring into yourself. I think I said that at the beginning as well. You need to be focusing on um, self-care, pouring into yourself, making sure that your cup is full, and making sure that um, you're following your intuition, not neglecting it, you know, not neglecting your um higher power your higher self neglecting your soul wants and needs you know um because that's what's gonna make you unhappy what else um uh, for the scorpio spirit let me pull that one the beginning of an awakening yeah it's like you're going through an awakening you're experiencing new things this is about to be a new beginning a new start um sometimes you're i mean you're breaking free of like a, um maybe a mental prison you see how this person is tied up eyes closed not really knowing where to go what to do how to get out how to be free mentally physically spiritually but you're learning you you're gonna be forgiven you're gonna be free you're gonna have that liberation here soon um and it because it's like you've been going through a lot it's been continuous pressure on you continuous pressure but y'all know what happens to um y'all know how diamonds are created through pressure diamonds are created through pressure so the more pressure you 
you go through, the more beautiful your outcome will be. You get what I'm saying? So look at it in that, in that light, Scorpio. What else for the Scorpio spirit? Give me three more cards for the Scorpios and then we'll go into clarifying the reading and giving some advice. What else for the Scorpio spirit? Mm, you could have been sick or needing to recuperate or recover from your spiritual um your spiritual awakening because when you have a spiritual awakening you also go through a dark night of the soul as well so um uh, sometimes we find ourselves being drained low energy not really uh, feeling motivated or confident to do anything that we set for for ourselves um so it's like you're getting into your spirituality you're starting to trust your ink you're starting to trust your instinct and your gut feeling you're becoming more um creative becoming coming up with new projects and new plans and you know you're being able to uh connect back with source what else spirit last card yeah okay and that was because you were unbalanced you were unbalanced, a little bit overwhelmed for everything, working hard, um, making different choices for yourself, and it was like you were struggling with your finances as well, you know? Because it's like, you know, you paying bills right now. It's like you paying bills, trying to run a business, trying to uh, do everything all at once, but baby, sometimes that gets to you, who? And you could be somebody that has kids as well, you know? You trying to raise your kids, get them everything they need. You trying to pay all your bills. You trying to make sure you got everything for your business. Now you're on phone, so it's like, yo, what, what, why, how, <laughs> you know? But yeah, um, you're gonna go ahead and turn into this King of Swords here, who has um discipline. You're gonna have to establish some discipline professionally and you're going to be able to take a little bit more action and um yeah you're going to be able to take a little bit more action okay and those finances are going to be coming in shortly okay let's get some clear some clarification and some um advice for the scorpio spirit Let's get some clarity and advice for the Scorpios. Um, storms. You've been going through some storms, you know, and that's what comes along with growth. Awakening, yes. I said that, huh? <laughs> you've been because you've been going through an awakening, you know. You gotta face the darkest. When you go through an awakening, you have to face the darkest parts of yourself, you know. You gotta heal those parts of yourself as well. Um, before you can get to this uh, rebirth here. Look at these cards. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my God. And beauty is their name. Yeah, it's like you're birthing new ideas. You're birthing new ways of creating financial wealth for yourself and your family. And then it's like you're going to come out as this, this goddess. This goddess here. A whole new way of living, a whole new way of thinking, a whole new way of creating wealth. You hear me? So let's see what these cards say. This is the number 13. So Oya, wielding her powerful sword of truth. Oya is the Yoruba goddess of storms, wind, and lightning. Storms bring shifts, rapid and uncontrolled change at times of chaos yeah so it's like though you're going through times of chaos you're going through it mentally as well because you're unbalanced right so it's like though you're going through all of that stuff you're also going to grow through it that's what you're doing you're growing through it the winds of change are in motion. Into every life, a little rain must fall. Personal storms clear away the old. Sometimes change moves slowly. At other times, change is swift. And that's probably what you're thinking. Like, yo, 
this change is happening a little bit too slow for me like <laughs> I need it to come quickly but you also have to remember that you need to have patience because nothing good comes fast nothing good comes fast gang and if it does guess what it could be taken away just like that because you didn't take the necessary steps you needed to take in order to stay at that top you hear me to stay um to keep what you had you know you need to go through several different lessons several different um steps in order to maintain what you will receive so that's what you're going through you're learning those steps so that you can once you do receive this ace of pentacles you can keep it yeah what you'd like to change if you are not actively changing it you are choosing it to make shift happen focus on what you want stop giving energy to what is not working the biggest thing holding you back is you if you want people in life to treat you better you go first if you attract betrayal stress and strife the common denominator is you beating yourself up is self-harm feeling feel your feelings um, honor your journey, tell yourself the truth, and practice self-compassion. I make shift happens. And you the only one that can do it. You the only one that create the change for yourself. By putting forth the action steps and, you know, not really feeling bad about yourself. But making sure that you tell yourself the truth. Like, you know, it's okay. The truth is okay. The truth is not to harm you. The truth is not here to... To make you stagnant. The truth is here to help you grow. And help you understand yourself a little bit better. You get what I'm saying? Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. But awakenings are scared. scary. You know? So number 40. Yamaya. Yamaya goddess. Goddess Yamaya controls the ocean. The amniotic fluid that nurtures us before we know ourselves. The healing, loving energy of Yoruba, Mother Orisha, deity, never leaves you. Wake up, awaken now to your true self. Those tears of joy or sorrow, let them out. Y Yama, Yamaya swallows your tears. You are vibrating in a high frequency, so you see everything differently. Yes, like I said, gaining those new perspectives, new ways of thinking, new ways of living, so that you create um, new abundance. Um, this is Goddess Rising. You are waking up, and once you have experienced an awakening, you can never go back to not knowing ever. I have to stress this, because once you well, ain't no going back to sleep. I ain't no going back to sleep unless you literally purposely just refuse to do so. Like, unless you refuse to follow your intuition. Unless you refuse to try. But you will be forced into the change. You get what I'm saying? And that force is not going to be great. Then that force is going gonna, is gonna, to um, hold you back and create that depression, that sadness, that anxiety, that stuff that you do not want. You get me? So make sure that you rolling with the punches rolling with the flow you hear me you gonna get through it you just believe you hear me the path of awakening is not straight comfortable or easy you have chosen to lift the veil and have real relationships with the divine you didn't come to transcend this world while you're living in it you came here to dig into the soil plant yourself and grow this ascension is your divine person purpose i am receiving and radiating love period and that is all our purpose to come here to help ourselves grow and once we help ourselves grow everybody around us gonna grow too you know we all just need to be better change starts with you oh i forgot i got one more <laughs> change starts with you gang so let's see number five my boy nahanda my boy nahanda Born around 1840, Sharway Nawaski channeled a uh, Mahandoro, an ancient royal lion spirit named Nahanda, who has been incarnated um, by revolutionary Shana woman for at least 500 years. Here, a uh, Moboya Nahanda, grandmother Nahanda, this great ancestor was a healer who declared war against colonial occupations. Yes, you can. Stop the struggle. You can choose 
at any moment to start over and be reborn. Like the sun, you rise again each and every day. Each and every day you got the choice to change. Each and every day you got the choice to wake up and do it all over again. Each and every day you got the chance to do it a different way. Mm-hmm. Dust yourself off, move around, go for it again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if the things aren't perfect. Stop wanting to be ready. Make new choices and decisions. And still, I rise. So bad. when you fall, you get back up and you try again. Dust yourself off and try again, try again. You can first as you don't succeed, first you don't succeed. Yeah, yeah. And that's probably how you feeling in this energy, you know. You could be, a, like I said, a new business owner. Uh, you got a new career. You got something that you started or want to start. And you're like, yo, what if I fail? Or, yo, I'm failing right now. Yo, like, <laughs> this is hard. Like, I don't think I could continue to invest in this. I don't think I can... You might have to switch it up. Change your luck a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get back up. You know, sometimes people say their business don't pop off until their third year of um being in business. So, I mean, <laughs> what you what? You, uh, you going to quit on yourself? Or you going to get back up, learn different ways, learn different strategies to pour into yourself? Because that's what you're needing to do. Okay? Scorpio. <laughs> So, thank you guys for coming through and receiving these messages. Hopefully, you guys have received some. If not, go ahead, come back next week or whenever I upload a video or whatnot. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe um, and leave your comments down below. Um, and as always, thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to receive these messages. Bye, y'all.